Right, so of course, as we've already mentioned a couple of times, there's a lot of different videos going out on our YouTube channel on a lot of the latest models coming through, some of our top bargains, and just taking a look at some of the exciting models which are available to order right now. And you've covered a couple of interesting ones recently that we thought we'd take another closer look at. We have. A lot of people have been asking about Hornby's Class 156 Super Sprinter recently. Two releases of this were made back in 2019, but was still a hugely popular model as well. People want to see it really up close and personal, see how the running is of it as well, of the two cars there. So we got it on our test track and we had a bit of a closer look. That's it. So you've had a, a nice test of this, haven't you? So yeah. we'll again, we'll cut back to Dave and we will see what it's like on the test track. Now, as you can see, there's two different variations that are available right now. You've got, as you can see, uh, quite so close there, the BR Provincial colour scheme and this bang up to date Northern Royal Air Force colour scheme, which is just absolutely fantastic. There's been a lot of people who are very excited about this one coming through because it does commemorate 100 years of the Royal Air Force. Um, really important livery, that one. And that was as it was in service with Northern Rail. Um, and it's still around today. There's only been one that's painted in that livery, um, which is the one that Hornby has modeled for you here. And of course, you've got that very start of the 156 story with the BR Provincial. So you've got a bit of old and a bit of new available in the range. And the model as well has a five pole motor in it with full eight pin digital capacity. You've got the interior seating in there as well. Now it doesn't come with any lights, but you can add those if you have the suitable LEDs as well. But you get both cars there. You've got the close coupling mechanism that we just saw with the, with the power cars going from above there as well. It can go right through set track and radius two curves too. And they're available for 112.50 each, which for a pretty bang up to date multiple unit is quite a decent price as well. It really is. I mean, for the raw size of the unit that you're getting, it is quite a good price. Obviously, it's a two car unit as well. So you're getting a full train there, one package for 112.50, which is really quite a good value for money. And um, the intricate, sorry, the intricacy of the liveries on these is pretty spectacular as well. It's one of these, it's one of Hornby's more classic models that they've brought back through to the range but they've really gone to town on the liveries on yeah. these ones so especially our RAF livery with the special vinyls all over it and a lot of um, special all the symbols and the airplanes on there they do look quite special and that's that's well, especially that one that's been an incredibly popular model yeah. so far people have been absolutely clamoring to get their hands on that one and I believe there are quite limited stocks of both of these available so if you do want to pick one of them up now's the time to act really it is indeed, and of course we've got those available to order right now as well, so if you click that link in the description, you've got more information there as well. Absolutely. Now we've got Medway Peninsula Model Railway here in the comments I've just seen pop up, and he says he's got the RAF livery one and loves it, and he's put train tech lights in that one, so Ooh, that's that'll... That's a really good idea, actually. Really it set it off, won't that. it? Now, we've got another um, another video for you here, which you wanted to take another look at, didn't you? So it's this is the Golden Valley Hobbies Jaina Shunter, which we've took a couple of looks at in the past, and there's a couple of videos out there. But at the moment, we do have this on an incredible bargain with three accompanying wagons. Now, this is covering an ICI livery loco. I believe it's Richard Borrett is the name of the loco. And then you've got uh, some ICI Salt Division wagons to go with it. And I love this one because it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> it's a really nice size set um, coming in at just um, £49.50 for the Loco or £69.50 for the pack with the coaches. And it looks amazing in this colour scheme because you've got that ICI maroony red sort of colour with bright blue wagons there. So it just provides a bit of a an interesting different colour scheme that you don't see very often. And it's absolutely flooding with details, as we'll see in the video. It really does come crammed there with, well, you've got everything. You've got the handrails on there. You've got the full cab interior, as you can just about see now. You've got the separately fitted exhaust port covers, sprung buffers and NEM couplings there as well. The high definition printing of the ICI logo and the nameplate there too. You've got full connecting rods, you've got a five pole motor in there with a flywheel as well and an eight pin decoder socket to really get that Yorkshire engine company sound if you want to put a sound decoder in there. But they're fantastic for shunting too. And they do come with the wagons you see on the left there in the pack for $69.50. Well, you would, obviously we've touched on this is coming in at an incredible price, but it's not a budget model. It really is a high quality, highly detailed locomotive. And as you can see, it runs faultlessly too. We in a shunter, it's got to perform over 
difficult track work, shall we say, over um, tight radius curves and through point work. And as you can see here, running about it into the front of its train there, it's absolutely perfect over those tighter curves and on the point work too. As you can see, it's now backing up onto those wagons. So you can see how this looks as a complete train. And it's, it's an odd mixture of color schemes here, but they really do suit each other, I think. It's just a bit different. And it adds a, a bit of color to what is would otherwise be quite a potentially drab uh, industrial scene. So it just gives you the opportunity to run something with a bit more, um, a bit more going on, really, isn't it? That's it. So it's great for any of you who are looking at starting out on a double O layout or just adding something a little bit more to your collection as well to get the full train pack there as well. Or if you just want the local on its own and have the wagons already, they're both available at fantastic prices right now. So click that link in the description if you'd like to learn more. That's it for under £70 for a full train pack with the wagons as well. You really can't go wrong with that. And as we touched on before, maybe you're picking up our new Hatton's Essentials bundle to build your first layout. This is the perfect thing to go. Uh, to go with that as well so you've got your full train there ready to go all of your Hatton's Essentials products to get built in your layout as well and you can't really go wrong from there can you not at all now we've got a few more comments here on both of those videos we've got Charles Curtis says he's got the RAF 156 and it's a beautiful livery Clive Cabold says he remembers the 156 is coming into service on the Stram Ra line in 1988 oh, okay well that'll be the provincial livery that we showed off in the video there as well so maybe a model for you it would have been there in that as built condition now the 156 as well they've seen quite a lot of use and they're still obviously in use today they've seen quite a bit of use in Scotland on quite a lot of the uh, northern lines there and even in the lowlands too they've been seen across the north of england on various northern services and even into the east on uh, the norwich routes and things like that so a lot of different opportunities to run these on your layout obviously would that be our provincial one that applies to a lot of different areas of the country and obviously that northern ref one there perfect for a lot of different uh, northern base layouts too and we've got Jamie Smith as well has got the RAF one and it's a stunning livery. King RE2 has seen it in real life. So quite nice to go and see that one. And then onto the Janus, we've got Matt Slade and says he's got the Janus and it's a fab model. So I'm sure he's enjoying that. Even in Star 92, bought it from Hatton's about a month or two ago and uh, enjoy it. It's absolutely superb. Brilliant. And then we've got Joe Light Railway here says, likes the ICI diesel loco as red with the blue wagons looks very eye catching and it's a fantastic cool train pack. So a lot of love for the, uh, the train packs there today. And of course, both of those are available right now as well. And as you said, some really striking color schemes there too, across the 156 and the Janus too. So if you need something a little bit more bright, maybe to get a bit of brightness and color into these winter months, these are the <laughs> models for you if you're a double O modeler. As I said as well, those sort of drab industrial scenes, get a bit of red, get a bit of blue in there, spice <laughs> it up. And it's realistic too, because that yeah. was what was used. I believe it was the Runcorn Salt Union. And um, there's some fantastic photos again online if you check it out, but that gives you a bit of an idea of how how that would have operated. And not a million miles from the Platform One studio either. Only Just across over there. The, the other side of the Mersey. <laughs> Just over there.